In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the select case statement in Visual Basic.net. The select case is a lot like the if-then-else statement with some pretty major uh, distinctions, but it does allow you to do conditional branching within your applications. Now, the case select is more uh, suited to the scenario where you have a lot of checks. For example, we noted how we had to add additional else if statements uh, to check Larry and to check Shemp. So we did else if um, the command arc zero equals Larry, then console.write line, you enter Larry, and then we did the same thing for Shemp. And, and if we had like 10 of those conditions, we'd have to write 10 else if statements. Well, that becomes very verbose. In other words, there's a lot of typing there, and there's an easier way to do it using the case or the select case statements. So a select case statement looks sort of like this. You have select case, and then you have the value that will be um, evaluated. Then you list out the possible values, in this case, for command args zero. In other words, the first value that's passed in to our uh, to our application. And if you don't understand this, please look at the video about more about console apps. So we're going to look at the first element of the command args array, and we're going to evaluate it. And if that case is Mo, then we'll write out you entered Mo. And if it's Larry, then we're going to write out Larry. So let's go ahead and build our project. And then bring up our command window, and I want you to notice that I put this application in the following directory. It's in C projects, case select, and then I navigate it to the bin directory where your applications are compiled. And to run the application, I'll type in case select, and then I'm going to 